I think people assume Kathy Hochul's gonna win, you know, she'll win elections, she'll win by a lot, but you raised a ton of money early on before there was any hint of trouble. What did you see coming that made you want to brace for this moment? I've seen it all. I know there's an unease out there. The pandemic did so much to people's psyche and they created a sense of vulnerability. People need a place to point to, to try to understand what's going on. Right. And we ignore that at our peril as Democrats. It's New York. If you're you know, in a real fight for survival here, what does that say to you about what's happening in the country writ large and what Democrats should be doing preparing for now? It says that democracy is worth fighting for. I don't mind being the face of this fight in the state of New York. I'm as tough as nails. And I want other people not to be discouraged by this. My victory on Tuesday will send a message that despite all the forces that are swirling around out there across the nation, that we did hold the state of New York. I mean, all of a sudden you were in a tough race. It's not just your race, it's congressional races. You know, it's up and down the ballot in New York. People have become too complacent. That's how Donald Trump was elected in 2016, because people assumed that other people would vote on their behalf. They didn't really care. Now they know they have to care. And so I like this energy. I think it's time that we kind of reset the Democratic Party and yeah. shake everybody up from slumber, not just in New York, but all across the nation.